Ayo, Chixu here. Good boss push week is starting tomorrow. So today we're going to show you guys a new strategy to get the max score in the normal difficulty. So um, if you guys are new on this channel, definitely make sure to subscribe and also let me know in the comment section what score you guys were able to get. So if you guys are not aware, good boss push week means um, depending on the rankings of good boss your guild is, then you may enter guild war so this is going to be the team this is the uh new number one team i just switched the positioning here and let's just show you guys the gear so the gear is going to be basically try to have hp only and try to not have a top piece at all so if i would have for example an hp orb i wouldn't have this issue in the middle we have resistance rolls if you guys are not aware for pve for pve okay resistance rolls reduce the damage way way better than defense rolls that's why i did it like this maybe we patience anyways even if we just don't have um resistance gear i'm not sure i didn't try it out here the same problem again if we don't have to use a ring perfect but unfortunately my placing doesn't allow um magelda we want to have on an attack crit damage build so i would say my magelda is pretty poorly rolled i mean top pieces are fine but bottom pieces they are horrible middle pieces they are the worst so um if i would do resistance as well it would be a little bit better but for that i'm too lazy and um the same thing goes for gotha one more time again unfortunately i have a wrong positioning or bad positioning here i have um rare resistance because i had this from back in the days and i would say now let's just go in oh wait a second the most important thing is as well um this number one and the uh, and the ludo link or marketed link depending on how you want to call her um basically because now with this and also the other Ragnarok set, she's gonna have an insane stat increase later. And also Sadia Link, basically, um, we want to have like this so that um, he doesn't give too much attack. And also we want to have the debuffs of Sadia. So you guys will see the reason later. So now let's just jump into it. And as you can see, we're streaming live on Twitch as well. So maybe check that out. So obviously, if you're going to use Crit Chance Food, Crit Chance Food would be much, much easier, but it will lower your score. So if you do use Attack Food, and with all the stat increase, Attack is going to amplify every damage or every stat of her much, much more. So what we are going to do is, I don't even know how we are going to start the first turn, to be honest. I think what we're going to do is we are going to just move here one time in order to um, get the ult and then we're going to burn the Q cards and then we draw uh, or wait what cards we can draw because the thing is this card we need later this card we want to keep in order to basically have gotha cards in order to attack in order to get more debuffs onto him eventually um maybe burning the gotha aoe might be fine as well but the thing is if we use gotha card sadil will apply a debuff onto the enemy and Debuffs onto the enemy, that is the most important thing we need to do. So now let's just jump onto the second turn. Second turn, what we want is um, best would be two rank ups or at least one rank up else just to quit out right away because we deal a little bit too much damage already, as you can see. Um, I will say this is going to be an explanation run. So we're going to still continue this. I would say what we're going to do here is um, let's just merge this. Let's just burn this and let's move this like this for now. And I would say we are going to just... Ah, getting this ult too early would be not good, but I guess, um, I think if I'm not wrong, in turn 2, we can actually use the, um, poison already, because we want to put the poison on, and, um, we want the poison to apply on, or basically still be on when he's going to cleanse himself. So I'm not sure right now, this is just a testing for myself as well, here as you can see, um, damn, we still do take some damage, that's very unfortunate. So, um, and now it's it's a really bad card draw. This is a really awful card draw, guys. But yeah, we're just going to burn this stuff again. I think we can't much do much anymore. So I will, I'm thinking to actually buff with a one star right now, but it might be too much damage. But let's just do it so that we can burn a card. So basically, if you don't get a rank up, obviously what you want is you want to quit out because you need those rank ups. You need, you definitely need those rank ups. So this is right now a really, really bad explanation run. Um, so for now, what we're going to do is I will just rank up the buff, I think. Here, as you can see, next round, he's going to cleanse and he's going to cleanse when this debuff is still on. So what we want in this turn or basically in turn four is we want to try, okay, if possible to use uh, some uh what is called uh, some gotha cards or in general in the previous turn would have worked as well but what we're going to do now is let's just attack seal because attack seal is another debuff 
um then we're going to just rank up this buff because yeah unfortunately we have nothing else we have the wood of Magelda already and we are just going to i would say um do this and we're going to heal up as well and basically what we have now is um in the next round he's going to cleanse himself and the moment he cleanses he converts every debuff to a resistance stack and then we can just show you guys the stats so it's because uh, of the of the stack so here i don't know i really hope he's going to get attacked because as you can see he's patiencing so because he's patiencing we can actually without any issues at, uh, get attacked and we stack up the stats of our gotha and here as you can see our uh, not stacks uh the debuff and we want to at least wait one more turn because we want to have full stacks obviously here as you can see still um all the stats are insane because of the ragnarok uh what it's called or the ragnarok stats it just increases her stats by a shit ton so now what we're going to do is we try to burn cards if we can um the question is what can i burn um another thing as well is okay for now i think can i even burn i'm not sure if we can even attack but there's a lot of resistance stacks so you guys will actually see I think that the resistance gonna mitigate a lot of damage every buff you have just use it because it gives you three points as you can see we have a golden hellbrom buff and it only did 5k damage that was like nothing at all and um yeah so now we're just going to basically finish off in this turn where we have every stack of gotha I personally think I'm not 100% sure it might be better to wait one more turn because if we would wait one more turn, we would have two more um, Ignite stacks. Okay, we would have eight Ignite stacks, but because we buffed already, we have to finish now. So what we're going to do is we are, for example, burning this card. Because if we are going to burn this, um, we are going to get one more stack of our Relic of Gotha. Okay, and um, then we're just going to ult with this. I mean, I think we can attack with this, but let's not risk it. So this is basically the explanation run. And next run we're gonna show you guys one more proper run and hopefully bam 12 million damage and this was our first try this was our first try just for explanation and we critted already guys very very easy peasy 5.8k score and if you guys uh, think back onto the daddy daddy days hey yo that is just horrible you're going to get this run in i don't know how many hours and this was just one fucking run so now let's do one more run in the previous run there's still something missing so in the perfect run you also want to have three gotha rank ups don't merge if you get a rank up because what you want to do is basically you want to um use the rank up onto yourself if you use another rank up onto yourself you actually have a golden attack buff as well which is missing in this team and then you get an even higher score and of course then it depends on how many sardial debuffs can you apply onto with the gotha very promising card draw guys so what we're going to do now is we're going to merge this here we're going to burn this and i would say we're going to move this twice for now and hopefully we draw rank up and the reason why we move this onto the left is we don't want to get gotha rank ups uh to merge because the thing is oh my god uh the thing is we want to just triple rank up and then we're good to go if we triple rank up um what we're going to get is basically we are going to get um what it's called we are going to get a golden gotha buff so what we're going to do now is we're going to rank up onto gotha we're going to rank up again guys do we triple rank up already we shouldn't right so we definitely should attack seal because the attack seal stays for two turns but we shouldn't we shouldn't rank up yet right we should just for now i think skip so that next turn or basically i can draw more cards so that i won't draw any ults the thing is, if I would use the Gotha rank up now, will it stay long enough, guys? It won't, right? Yeah, it won't. So you don't want to use the golden rank up buff in this turn. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to use the uh, Gotha rank up in this turn. So what we're going to do is just skipping to get five points. Because skipping gives us five points, which is good. And hopefully we draw one more Gotha rank up would be the optimal card. Come on. Best would be Gotha rank up. Okay, attack seal. Ta I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Guys, this is good. This is good. I can attack seal though, right? I can use it, right? Hey, yo, it's so close. It's looking so close again. Can I use it? Is the question. Ah, oh, guys. Risk it for the biscuit, yes or no? Risk it or risk it 
risk it for okay let me let me just do the math okay let me do the math why did i not do the math earlier so 12 252 times 1.2 it will do like 14k ah fuck but there, there, there are a lot of there are a lot of ignites as well listen to you this time okay guys dadito is saying i should listen to him so we know we all know what we should do now right Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Skill, guys. Oh, yes, baby. So, now. Now, guys. Now. Look at this. So, we can't just burn this. And then skip five times again. Hopefully, we're going to draw another, um, another buff of Hellbrom. That would be the best card because that would be three points. Okay, guys, come on, another buff. Ah, damn, unfortunate. Okay, guys, but we have the setup done. As I said, I personally think it would be better if we um, wait one more turn, if we move to transition or not to transition, because then he would have eight ignite stacks. But the thing is, we used the buffs already. Because we used the buffs already, we have to finish now. So here, okay, no, this is the unit we have to check. Look at this. She has 70, 72,000, almost 73,000 attack. Jesus. Okay, guys. We have to turn on the ult animation because I want I need to see this. I think everyone else wants to see this as well. We have a 6x Magelda. Um by the way, does anyone know what ult level from which ult level Magelda strat is the better strat? Because the thing is, um Dariari strat, no matter what, it's super annoying, especially now with level 100. Okay, guys. Skip. Skip. And once again, if we would have had another buff of him, that would be better, or if we would have had another rank up to have a golden. Okay, guys, please. I really hope it's, it, it's working. Please. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I think we got a bad damage variance. But I don't think there's anything else to show for normal difficulty. We got a 8.5k score. I'm definitely satisfied with this. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And uh, once again, let me know in the comment section what you guys have. I really hope it was helpful. You enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.